How does the Workforce Engagement Program work? How do we harness the conversations about the work that happens on our sites each day? Who drives it forward? The Workforce Engagement Team members champion the process. Workforce Engagement Team members are frontline workers, not considered foremen or supervisors, and are either volunteers or are nominated from each department at the worksite. They have two roles. Firstly, when conversations are taking place in tea shacks, break rooms, or anywhere else on the worksite, the workforce engagement team member should record the conversation. If a workforce engagement team member is not present, then the conversation should be reported to one in order to record the conversation. Conversations could even be started by using the questions printed in the workforce engagement booklet. Each workforce engagement team member will be given a booklet. The booklet will contain information on how the program works, but most importantly, will contain tear-out pages that are used to record conversations. The second role of a workforce engagement team member is to attend the workforce engagement team meeting. These are held about every two weeks. The workforce engagement team review the conversation cards that have been submitted and discuss any items the workforce engagement team members may have also captured or considered. Hopefully, they will include suggested solutions for the problems raised. The workforce engagement team can discuss them and agree or propose a solution of their own. The workforce engagement team meeting is facilitated by someone with access to the worksite's IT system, such as an administrator, junior officer, cadet, or someone else not considered part of the worksite's supervisory team. The role of the facilitator is to maintain the workforce engagement action tracker. This is a standard template that records the topic of the conversation and the proposed solution. Once recorded in the action tracker and agreed by the workforce engagement team, an agreed spokesperson from the workforce engagement team, together with the facilitator, will meet with the worksite leadership team to discuss the points raised, agree the solution, and the worksite management team will assign actions to the applicable people. It is very important that feedback is given to the workforce on all of the points raised. The action tracker will be displayed on the safety notice board with all of the points raised and their status. It is very important that every point raised is answered, even ones that might seem impractical or clearly cost prohibitive. The point raised was clearly important to the person who raised it, and so we must make a point of responding to it. By purposely engaging with our frontline workforce and asking them to share their knowledge and experience of the work they perform, Sub-C7's goal is to not only improve the safety of our operations, but also the quality and efficiency of our overall performance.